What's up guys, in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to get started with Jotform tables. If you haven't already gotten started with Jotform, then this would be a really good introduction into their form software as well as their integration with their new table software. They just released this in November 2020 and so this is super new and super exciting. It's kind of been rumored as like a potential competitor with like Airtable or Notion and some softwares like that. So without further ado, if you haven't met me yet, my name is Ben Green. I'm the owner of Optimize IS, and what we do is we help business owners integrate all their systems and optimize their processes to have the most efficient processes and lean software stack ever. So without further ado, we'll get right into the video now. So first, when we're starting out this tutorial, I wanted to really just give you the basics of what Jotform Tables is. So I would consider it an attempt at a relational database, which is a very good and useful way to organize your data in a business and have like different types of data in different tables. And it's very similar to Microsoft Access, or if you're probably more familiar with Microsoft Excel. So it's a very useful tool. And it also is integrated with this insanely useful form software with tons of integrations. So it is also free and if you can see here on the left, you can see lots of the data types, the column types that you can have in your Jotform table. And I've tested out most, if not all of these, and most of them work very good. There's only one that I have a complaint about, which I'll go into in the video. But I want you to ask yourself before you just like start going and making a table, like what are you wanting to use with the software? What are you wanting to collect with the form? And how are you wanting to make better decisions with the data that you will be keeping in your job form table? So that's the big question is what do you want to have in there? And then the, after that, you can figure out how you want to organize your database and how people will be using it will give you more information on customizing. So if you want to see the form that I made, so I just made this basic one. I think I used the template and we can see it here. It's just a very simple one. It's a employee applicant um, to work for the company. And basically I just auto filled lots of information in there. And we have like three, I would say three good, we have three good rows in here. So I will delete those three rows. So we are just left with these three good ones. And this is what the data will look like when it comes in from your form and it comes in here and you just have this like massive, just table with all of these different fields and different types. Like you can see you have some multi-select here and then you have some text, you have a phone number, birthday. So there's lots of like different customizations for like field types in here, which is amazing. And shout out, they, they did this. I mean, it's very similar to Airtable. It's almost exactly like it. Like you can come up here and filter it. And once you like come in here and create your different data types, then it'll be exactly how you like it. Another thing that's very interesting that they kind of copied Airtable on, but it's still very useful is you can change the type. So this is like similar to changing the view, how you view the data and you can change it into these like a card. So like this would be similar to like a gallery view where you can see the cards, like each row would be one card. You can see your, all of your uploads. So if you have like somewhere where they put all their resumes, you can see all of their resumes in just one view. And then they also have the calendar. So I did mention at the beginning of this, this is a relational database. And what that means is you can have different tables that are connected to each other. So the tables are signified up here. Like you can see the form entries, and then you can see another table that says interviewer. My idea with this is once somebody submits a form, I want to assign someone to interview them. So someone on my team, you can see Luke, James, Andrew, and myself. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to make a linked record, which means that at the end of this, I made this linked record and I assigned it to one of the applicants. So you can see these are all linked up to the applicants and I made it multi-select so that I could look into some of these lookup fields, but I will also show you how to do that in a second. But one thing that I found really interesting was that while it is a relational database and you can link up different tables, you can also incorporate different views up here as different tables. So it's not like a real relational database. It, I mean, it is, but it's not as smooth as you might want it to be. And it doesn't, it's not as intuitive as say Airtable with the different tables. So what I mean by that is if you come up here, you can add these different views up here and you can either use like a form that you already have. So like you could have a calendar and a table view just for the form submission, 
or you could create like multiple different like views like you could have multiple table views for one form which i don't necessarily agree with i think they should be able to have different views within each table rather than having to make each new view a new table up at the top i think they still have some quirks to work out with it but this is how you create a new table up here is you can do any of these three so you can import a csv connect it to the form that you already have on here or do a blank one so i'll do a blank one and this is test and you can see we now have this one up here and these are the three that you start out with and you can add more columns using this tool. So that is super useful and these are the three types of columns that you can add. You can add basic, which is the basic stuff that's in like the form software that they already had. And the more advanced ones are these formulas and connections. For many of these formula ones, you're going to already need to have a connection. So a connection is the same thing as a linked record in Airtable, or it's a relationship in Microsoft Access. So what we're doing here is we're connecting this table to a form or to a table. So if I'm going to connect it to a table and I want to connect it to interviewer, then we'll do that. And then we will toggle that off and then we will create the column. So we also still have to come back in here and select which table and we are going to select that table. So after you choose all of those options, this is basically what's going to show up in this linked record or this, this connection in job form. And so this, this will be very useful for you. So this is this name field is what's going to be showing up there and you can create that column and then you can assign different, like once, once I put like, we'll just put another, like say this is different employees. I don't, I don't know why you would want two tables, but you come in here and then you can pick people from the interviewer table and we can connect these. So like maybe this is like their boss or something. So that's very useful. And then once you do that, you can add these lookup fields or roll up fields. So I'll, I'll just go show you how I added. Well, so I'll show you how to add these lookup fields. And this is if you're like in a relational database and you do a query on another table. So like, based on this linked record, what is the email on this interviewer? And it will pull that in here and we can use that from then on. So we'll do email here. And so we'll just look up their email and then it will pull in their email. So if you look in here for their, so this is a, so this is a connection field, which connects it to the, that application form and we're assigning these interviewers. We're actually assigning the interviewee to the interviewer. We also have this lookup field based on the linked field. And we can see you can have multiple people linked and it will pull on multiple records in that lookup field. And you can also add what's called a counter. So if I wanted to add a new record over or a new column over here in this, I could do this formula and I could add the counter. And we're gonna say counter, countable field is email. It does it based on the lookup fields. And we can see there's only one in there. If we come back to this one that I already made for you guys, you can also see there's a formula so you can do stuff like concatenate. You can do a lot of the basic Excel ones and they already have, it's like pretty intuitive to use. It's just a little bit different than like a native, just like Excel where you just type equal sign and then a formula or whatever you want or Airtable where it's like that, it's just a little bit different of an interface. So we will, I'll show you that. So if you have a formula, if you wanna do an advanced formula, you just come in here and click next. So we'll do test again. And this is what it looks like. So the like big difference is if you want to do like a concatenate, you'd have to like type that and then do that. And then maybe put a space in here and then throw another and in there. Or maybe come back here and put a space in there. And then it puts it all together and then email. And that's how I created this, I'm pretty sure. So. There's stuff like that. There's also other formulas that you can use to like aggregate your data or whatever you want to see. If you want to do like a lead score in here, you could do that based on stuff in your form. You can, so there's tons of options in here for the functions. And these are very similar to Excel, very similar to Airtable here. A big feature that I want to point out is on these forms, if you want to add some like notes sections here at the end, so like say someone submits a form and then you want to evaluate it after you can just come down here and click add and you can add like a short text whatever whatever you want this is where you could do your lead scoring so we'll do another test and you can add in here and it won't add it to the form unless you want it to so you can add like 
um, good, bad, worse. So you can add like different notes down here at the end and really cut like customize other data in here so that you have notes on like, okay, this one was a good one. This one was a bad one and stuff like that. So, so obviously there's a ton more to dive into that I will cover in later videos with chat form tables, but there's a ton of similarities between this and Excel with the relational database. And it's very interesting to see how they did the views. If you have any questions on how to do something in job form tables, throw them down in the comments and I really hope this was helpful. There's up like we need to go through the filters. We need to go through more of these views. We need to go through the field types and stuff. And I will, and I'd love to show you guys how to use all of that. But sadly, we don't have enough time in this video. So again, throw it down in the comments on how you want to use job form tables and what questions you have. I hope this was very useful. If you need help with this stuff, then click the subscribe button. If you need more help with this kind of stuff, then hit the subscribe button and you will get more content just based around using your systems better in your business. And so I hope this was really helpful and have a great day.